Hi guys, it's another beautiful day. Today is Wednesday, September 14th. September is almost halfway over. I can't believe it. Like, what is happening? <laughs> it's finally starting to feel like fall. It was a little chilly yesterday and today, so I'm like, yes, we made it, guys. We're, we're, we're almost here. All right, by the title of this video, you know what we're doing already. This is a new subscription for me, so I just signed up to it. Just got my first box. So we'll see how it goes. We're obviously gonna try to make it and here today so that you can see if it works if if i can if i'm capable of making the boba tea but uh it's 30 dollars every month and they send you two different kinds of tea the boba pearls whatever syrup or a uh, thing to make the syrup with that you're going to use and boba straws the we'll see i did look everything up in the box and kind of get or at least found things that were very similar like the tea boba the boba pearls the tapioca pearls and like the uh, sugar because I've, I've already looked in the box I, I had to take a peek but and then kind of calculated the price and it did equal up to about even though it doesn't seem like it like I did some research and it does equal up to about $30 worth of product so like because it doesn't when you're like looking in the box like it doesn't feel like a whole lot's going on in there and you will need things that you have to provide yourself like the milk or the other uh ingredients there's two different recipes you'll have to provide other stuff too but i feel like for now it's a we'll see if it's a good deal see if the tea works out and I, i'm really excited about it i've been really excited to try it so this is the box i got and to be honest i was a little disappointed that i didn't have the uh, barista this is from what is it called let me look in the box real quick. Bubble Barista is what the subscription is called. I saw a post on Facebook and the picture looked really, I was just like, it drew me in. I really have been exploring uh, boba tea, like bubble tea lately. And I thought it would be fun and a new subscription to open and do for you guys. So it was sad that it didn't have like in the advertisements that it didn't have the bubble barista sticker on it. But that's okay. I, I was a little wary about doing this whole thing because there were, there were like no reviews. There was like maybe two things I saw on Facebook that people were commenting about it and they weren't great. So, and they only have like a hundred and six, like not a lot of followers. So I was like a little wary about what we were going to be getting our hands into here, but we'll see. We got it. We're checking it out. So in the box here, let me show ya. I wish it would have been, it only had one piece of tape, like right in the front holding this together. So the sides kind of, you could do this with the sides and that kind of like scares me a little. Doesn't appear like anything was missing from the box, but still like it could have, that tea bag could have slipped out. So I wish they would have taped it a little better, but this is inside the box here. So in the box, it includes two packets of different kinds of tea. So they are each one ounce. So this is premium jasmine green tea. So you can see the bubble, maybe you can see the glare, bubble barista. So that is what the brand uh, logo looks like. So jasmine tea here. And I've never been the hugest, hugest fan. I, to be honest, I think it just must be like regular iced tea, like sweet tea, iced tea. I'm like, no, thank you. No, ma'am. No, thanks. But like I said, I love a chai tea latte. I could drink chai tea. and That's made with black tea. I could drink that all, all day, all day, all the day long. And then I've been trying the other different bubble teas. Like uh, at Pho 88, they have this cantaloupe tea that's really good that I had actually the other day because it was a long day and I, I wanted to enjoy some bubble tea so i think it's just like regular iced tea is not my fan but i'm trying to branch out and try some new things so this one is the premium earl gray black tea with the same logo and everything one ounce as well and i think this is going to be to make the like classic uh brown sugar milk tea i'm not sure if that's the correct name for it but i get that at a asian uh, restaurant that i really like as well so I think that's what we're going to be making today because I don't have the ingredients. I need like strawberries to make the strawberry puree for the other one. Puree, puree, puree. <laughs> uh, so I'll be doing just the simple one that I have everything for here. And then you get the 
package of the tapioca pearl. So it has the instructions on it and what to do. So you're supposed to, so here they are. We are going to have to boil these in water for 30 minutes and then let them, it says right here, bring water to a boil, add the pearls, boil for 30 minutes, rest for 22 minutes, and then we're gonna add the syrup that we are going to make with the brown sugar here. So, that's kind of a little bit of work here, but I feel like in my town at least, like I said, I get it at Fa 88 or we have a Koi Ramen, but I feel like we, we don't have just like a bubble tea, boba tea store or like, you know, like, uh, my friend Melissa did tell me about one that I haven't really been to by uh, one of the one of the colleges, the college that we have. Uh, so I, I need to check that out still, but I get anxiety going out, talking to people, so we're giving it a try ourselves and then saving money too because yeah i went and got that cantaloupe tea the other day for one tea it was nine it was nine dollars for the drink and then i tipped a couple dollars so expensive this whole box was 30 it's supposedly makes 20 drinks so we'll see uh but it's telling me to make one cup like one cup times six uh, cups of water but i don't think i'm going to use all those pearls so i don't want to waste them so i think if who knows if it's gonna work out for me, but I'm gonna cut the recipe in half so I don't waste as much. Cause I think it's like, it's whole idea was like, bring a friend, have tea together. So it's like, it's gonna make more than one serving. And it says in the directions to use the cooked boba tea within five hours of making. So unless I'm just gonna be drinking a whole bunch of boba teas. So we're gonna cut the recipe in half, uh, not the tea part. We're still gonna seep the tea normal, but I'm gonna use less boba pearls and less syrup just to see on the first go around because I don't want to make too much. And if I make too little, then we know and it won't get wasted, but I don't want to, you know. Sorry, I'm just chatting the whole time. If you're new, we chat here. So this is a unboxing, making bubble tea slash talking a whole bunch. So if you're not into that, you know, it's okay. See you later. But if you are, continue on. All right, guys, so yeah. And then I looked this up too, like on Amazon, and the most similar thing that I found that was the same, like 16 ounces here, was about seven, or no, $13, sorry, I almost said seven, $13. There was obviously a few, but yeah, with I added everything up, it did equal So I'm like, cause you look in the box and you're like, there's not a lot of whole stuff in here, but the value at least, and, and, and if it works and if it's really good, I feel like it's worth it. And that the fact that the shipping is free, I feel like that's what gets me there to, to be able to do it. Cause the box is a little bit heavy with everything. This is a heavy little thing here. And then uh, what I'm gonna show you next, the brown sugar is a little heavy. So the fact that they're not tacking on like a $10 shipping fee is great. Cause then I don't think I would do it. Like 40 bucks, too much. 30, mm, okay, we're, we're giving it a try. So yeah, so I'm excited to try this. So we're gonna be making it all on camera. So those are the tapioca pearls. And then you sweeten them with the, the syrup that we're going to make. And then you'll pour more syrup into the drink as well to make it look cool. But this here is Domino. At least I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, Domino. I don't know how to read good guys. <laughs> read well. <laughs> Premium pure cane dark brown sugar. So yeah, this is literally just a box of dark brown sugar. That's it, you, you see these at the store? And I did look this up, this brand in particular was, uh, for two of them it was $12.99, so this was about $6 for just this. You could do more generic, like I did look it up and there was like the Walmart brand and that was like $3, so, but still, for this brand that they sent, about $6, so still, yeah, it's like, okay, all right. And then for each, like one, one ounce of tea ranged from like four to like, nine dollars so i feel like yeah like i said we'll see once it's made but i feel like the value is there all right yeah so this is what we're going to be making uh the dark brown sugar syrup that we're going to be soaking the pearls in and pouring in our glass to look all nice and you know add a little more sweetness and flavor so that's it for the ingredients and then they do give you a whole bunch i believe there's eight two four six eight which isn't 20, you know, you're supposed to make 20 drinks, but I also bought a cup, I'll show you too, before we start everything. But yeah, and I was looking this up on Amazon too. I think I found a pack of 50, of 50 straws that were about $6. So we have eight, almost 10. I mean like, we'll be generous. This is like a dollar value. It's really not, it's like plastic thick straws. You need them to be able to soak up the boba pearls, but yeah, no. Okay, so, and then, 
I haven't even showed you guys this. This is the ingredient card, like the list, the instructions, the directions on how to do everything. On the back here, it says the bubble barista. And it does say here, I was like, mm, I guess it's good that they say it at least because they're saying uh, like use hashtags, hashtag bubble barista, hashtag challenge. But it also says like, by using hashtag slash bubble barista slash challenge, you give us permission to use your content. So if you do tag them on Instagram or anything with your pictures, they could just use your picture and that's there's nothing else you can do about it. Which I guess that's good they tell you that, but I don't know why that'd be a problem. Like, I don't know. But I'm just throwing it out there that says it on there. And yeah, so bubblebarista.com is where I went and, and signed up. And then here, yeah, so it says the uh, directions to how to prepare the tapioca pearls, how to make the syrup, brewing instructions for the tea. It talks about the jasmine green tea. It talks about the Earl Grey black tea. And then the serving instructions. So these are the instructions on how to make the tea. I'm going to be doing the iced bubble tea. It says you can do a hot bubble tea too. I don't know about that. I don't know if we'll, we'll try it at some point because it's like, why not? But. I think I'm gonna go with ice. So that means I'm gonna have to brew the tea in a little bit, uh, cool down to room temp before. So yeah, I'm like, I want, what time is it? 12.17, I'm not gonna be having this boba tea for, it's probably gonna be a couple hours. <laughs> Just once I get everything going and stuff. All right. And there is a silica package, so you know, in this boba tea, it's saying like, I can see it at the bottom. It's like, don't cook that. I hope, I just wanna put it out there too. Don't cook silica packets. <laughs> okay, we don't wanna eat that. That's just to keep it fresh. Also, it says, once I open this, it says, do not store it in the fridge. Store it in room temperature in an airtight container. So I'm like, I don't think I have any air airtight containers right now, so I'm just gonna seal it in a zip log, uh, zip log, zip lock bag. Sorry, I can't talk for uh, just like in there and then I'll and then I'll get something at Walmart at some point that I could like a seal a tight seal But I feel like a ziploc bag with all the air out of it will be fine And so it says how to the ice cold bubble tea hot bubble tea and then this is the one because it gives you two uh, ingredients or two recipes So this is the one that I'm gonna need extra stuff. So that's fine uh because if I buy it, it should be enough to make like, you know, at least a few of them. So we're gonna need fresh strawberries that I'm going to be making our own strawberry puree. And then I'll need sparkling water and drinkable yogurt. So I'm intrigued, I definitely wanna try it. But yeah, like I said, I don't have that, that stuff right now. So that's gonna have to be an update for you guys later. But I'm gonna show us make just the regular black milk tea. Is it black? Black sugar. Milk tea. I'm pro like I said, probably saying it all wrong, but you know, you get the gist. So I am excited, and then it's and then it does have another little thing, fruity and healthy recipe. But like this, I'll need some more ingredients. Uh, I'll use the jasmine tea. Then I'll need some slices of lemon, orange, and grapefruit. And then I think that's it for that one. So like a fruity, fruity beverage. So I am excited. Okay, I've been talking long enough. You, most people have probably already left. <laughs> okay, now this is the stuff that is not included in the box. I bought this separately on Amazon. Has nothing to do with the bubble barista, but I wanted a cute cup to drink my bubble tea in. So I went on Amazon and found this. This is from Yum Yumbucha. When life gives you boba, make tea. So that's what the cup says. Be boba, my friend. So this was, I think this was about 20 bucks. Got here super fast. It's a really large cup. It does come with its own straw too. So if I don't want to use those plastic straws, I don't need to. I probably will. This one comes with, uh, this one might be taller. Let's see. Are these the same size? No, this one's taller because the cup's taller. So I'll probably have to use this if I'm using this cup. But for these, I also bought... I got this on sale at Walmart for a dollar. It's just a plastic cup, but I thought this would be really cute. You could see all the boba at the bottom and make it look real nice. So that'll be if I if I don't want to use this. But yeah, so it's just a simple tumbler. It says the same thing that's on the box. When life gives you boba, make tea. There's a little spoonful of boba, a little tea, then the boba's in the little teacup. So yeah, it comes with a metal straw which I don't like the feel of metal straws on my teeth, so that's why I'm saying I probably use the plastic when I'm using the other one. But this I will use with this. But it comes with a cleaning straw, 
the boba straw, and then it even has like a little suction that's supposed to, so you open it like that when you put it in, so it's supposed to be like a seal, so it's, you're not gonna get any leakage. But yeah, simple, cute, and it also came with stickers. Look how cute these stickers are. They did say that these stickers are good enough that you can stick them on the cup, so you can decorate your cup, and you can still, I'm assuming hand wash, not dish, like dishwash. It says do not microwave hand wash okay yeah so it said that you can put these on your cup and you'll still be able to wash your cup but hand wash only but yeah look how cute look there's a little unicorn dabbing with the boba little kitty they're all drinking bobas this one has a little boba iv like, i need it what does it say boba <laughs> yeah so cute fun stickers to decorate that but that's what came in with that so i thought that was super cute and then last but not least so yeah the dollar cup for if I'm wanting to not putting it in that to go and then I was like oh my god I don't have anything because it's loose tea this is just loose tea so I needed something to be able to seat my tea so I got one of these this is literally the only one they had at Walmart this uh, is so that it can sit under glass so you can have the tea in there it doesn't and so you're able to take it back out I've seen a whole bunch of super cute ones but we went to Walmart and this was the one they had so that's the one I got so just a little thing so I can put the tea in there and then we'll seep it make the tea so I got that at Walmart and that was like three bucks okay guys I've been talking forever let's go ahead and get started thanks if you're still here let's get to the action I'm excited all right guys we're in the kitchen sorry the lighting's not great but we're working with what we got all the lights are on as good as it's gonna get but we are boiling the water now, it's almost there. So we, uh, I still did six cups of water just because we do have to boil it for a half an hour. I feel like we still have to boil it for a half an hour even though we're gonna do half a cup of tapioca pearls instead of a whole cup. But like I said, I, I don't know, I could be ruining it, so stay tuned. <laughs> but, uh, so we're just gonna do a half cup of the boba pearls so I don't wanna waste. And then, like I said, if it ends up being too little, then we know, and then we could do the full one next time. I just want to be, because it's just me, myself, and I here. All right, where are my pearls? Where are my pearls? Okay, so, gonna open the bag. All right, break them up slowly. Some of them got a little crushed, but I think it's gonna be just fine. All right, she's boiling now, so we are going to be pouring in. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be definitely more than one drink's worth. Yeah, a whole cup, yeah, there's no way. So, maybe I will be having two bilbas today. <laughs> okay, so we got roughly a half a cup here. Now it's saying to put it into an airtight container. So I'm going to be grabbing a Ziploc bag and get zipping her up. All right, guys, I used some binder clips to kind of seal the bag off, and then I try to suck the air out of the Ziploc. So next time, I won't be getting a new one for a month, or if I'm at Walmart, I'll try to find, like, one of those little little containers that's airtight. But until then, Ziploc it is. All right, and that's going in the cabinets. Okay, guys, I got it boiling. I didn't. I don't think I want to add, a, like, a raging boil, so I put a, turned it down just a little bit, but it's still boiling. So I guess I can turn it. You guys want to see what I'm doing? Sorry, don't look at the table. It's messy. Don't look at the. Don't look over there. <laughs> okay. All right. So some of the bits are floating to the top. Like I said, some of it was a little crumbly, but mostly pretty good. Set a timer for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, and that's starting now. All right. So they are kind of floating to the top. Some of them are sticking together, so I'm kind of trying to lightly kind of break them up a little bit. All right, starting to boil again. So those guys are, we're gonna boil those for a half hour. Okay, so I guess while this is going, we still have half an hour, but we might as well start the syrup. So I took the brown sugar out of the box. And now, like I said, I'm gonna do a half of this too. It says says one cup water and then one cup of sugar. So we're gonna cut that to a half a cup each. All right, to boil the water, I just put a whole bunch of water in my little teapot, so I'm going to be heating that up. 
and that's what we'll use for the how to make the sugar syrup and then the tea as well so let's go ahead and get that going gonna turn the back burner on high it does say to seep the tea at 205 degrees so I probably will I don't know if you do it too hot what happens Does anybody who drinks tea regular does it burn the tea does it make it taste bad does it what happens? I'm going to try to get it to close to 200 as possible. I have a thermometer, so I'll just heat up the water, check the temp, and if it's too hot, I'll just let it sit there for a minute and see what happens So before we add in our tea leaves. so This is new to me, guys. I've had boba tea, but I've never made it myself or tea in general. Like That's why yeah, I had to go buy a freaking seeper because I'm like, I've never done this, guys. I've never brewed tea. I've never done this. <laughs> okay, so wee wee. All right, well, I'm just waiting for the water to boil now, and then we'll make the sugar. Because, yeah, it says boil one cup of water with high heat or in the microwave, remove from heat, and then add one cup of sugar dissolved. So, like I said, we're going to do a half. So, I think I'll use, uh, I'll pour, because this is microwave, like, oven, ever safe, so pour in the hot water. It's going to be fine. So, we'll fill that up with a half a cup of water after it's done heating up. We'll add in a half a cup of brown sugar, mix that in, let it uh, just kind of cool down. Yeah, it says then set aside to cool down at room temperature. So yeah, so it's good that we're starting this now so that by the time the boba's done in 26 minutes, it'll be hopefully good to go. All right, let's continue on. All right, that was fast, it already heated up, started whistling, so I'm gonna add my half a cup of water into this guy open our brown sugar all right which we are also using a half cup so the same amount of the boba pearls i'm gonna try not to get this all over the place oh god i'm scared all right guys got the brown sugar measured out i ran out of quart size bag so i had to put it in a gallon one tried to get all the air out so you know how brown sugar gets it gets kind of hard if it's exposed to air so putting that in the fridge all right now we're just dunking that in and giving her a stir we're gonna get this all dissolved in here. Smells really nice, smells like brown sugar. Yeah, so once the tapioca pearls, uh, once they boil, then we're gonna have to let them just sit in the water, let's see, for 20 minutes without straining yet. And then after they sit for 20 more minutes, then I'm going to strain them and rinse them. It says to rinse them to get off the extra starch. And then, we will be pouring all the bubble 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 pulp. And then we will be pouring all the pearls into this and letting them soak for it says for at least 10 minutes. And then any leftover syrup, uh, we'll pour that into the bottom of the cup and then we'll any extra syrup we'll pour around the cup to make it look nice. So all right, done there. Tapioca pearls are still cooking away. I've been using a spoon. Let me pick you up. Oh. I've been using a spoon just to kind of, they're, they're kind of moving around now, but just to kind of get them. So it doesn't seem like they're clumping or anything. So it's going okay, guys. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Well, still got quite a bit of time left. So you know what? I'm going to decorate my cup with the stickers, and then we'll be back when it's time to do the next step. All right. See you in a second. Alright guys, sorry if the lighting has gotten even darker. It is now pouring rain outside, which is lovely. I love that I have a day off where I could enjoy all, all the rain. And like I said, I'm talking about it being fall. Alright, anyways, uh, the timer is about to go off, so I just stopped it. I got the tea going. Got it to just about the right temperature there. Got the little guy hanging in. Tea is seeping. That needs to seep for four minutes. Sorry, I keep going out of frame. The tapioca stuff is still in the pot. It's looking pretty, like the pretty gelatinous, pretty thick. So I'm getting ready to, since the timer is done, I'm gonna use one of the straining colanders and we are going to strain it. So strain it and then rinse it. Alright, so now we're giving it a little rinsey poo. Looks like boba pearls. So I'm excited. I'm definitely glad I did a half. I feel like this is gonna be, I don't know, I'm gonna put it all, we're gonna have a giant glass boba today, but I feel like I'm glad that I only did half. Sorry, turn the water off so I'm not talking over it. 
I'm glad I only did half. Let me show you without spilling all over the place. Look at my towel, the drips. Okay, those are my pearls. Yeah, so even next time, I'll either make e even less, a half of a half. What is that, a fourth? Is that, is that half of a half, fourth? You let me know. But uh, I'm definitely gonna be using all this. We're gonna, we're just gonna go hard today. So now that I got these rinsed off, I'm going to be adding them into the brown sugar. Oh, they're already, they're already firming up. Well, I mean like sticking together so that would happen. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, so now all the boba pearls are seeping in the brown sugar syrup. So we're gonna wait 10 minutes. The tea, is, we're just gonna let that seep longer. We have to let it cool down to room temperature, the tea anyway, or at least most of the way, so that when we add it to our drink mixture. Plus, like, I don't wanna melt all the ice right away and make the drink watery, so the cooler the tea is going on the ice, the less ice is going to melt right away, so, you know? You know, using, using my brain. Okay, guys, so we're gonna wait a little longer. I'm excited, I'll show you what the tea looked like. This video is gonna be super long, I'm sure. Are any of you still here? If you are, I appreciate it. <laughs> so the black tea is the one I use. So it's really cool looking. It's black, obviously. It almost looks like, uh, it smells good, like pipe tobacco. My dad used to smoke, uh, use pipes like Sherlock Holmes. So I, I know what loose leaf tobacco looks like, so it's kind of like tea. <laughs> All right, guys, I will be back in just a moment and then we will be assembling our boba tea. Ooh, let me show you my cup I designed too. So I put all my stickers on it. Let's see if we can see it in this lighting. I'll have it not focus on my face. Let me get out of the... Yeah, so I, I put the dabbing unicorn with the boba mid, or like right front and center, because I thought that was the cutest. And then all the others. All the way around, I used all the stickers, so pretty cute. All right guys, when I come back, we are finally assembling the tea and doing the taste test so i'm i'm excited it's 1 35 i've been working on this for a hot minute now i'm ready i'm ready for my tea i haven't even eaten because i've just been doing this <laughs> hello all right guys i'll be right back all right guys we're back in the dining area because the lighting's better so i feel like i want you to see what it looks like so we are ready everything's been sitting i left the tea over there i guess i'm not ready one second Okay, now I got everything I need except for the ice. I'll have to go to the garage to get that in a minute, but all right. So we have the cup that I decorated in cuteness. Oh yes, love it. Now the instructions are telling me to add a cup of the tea, which that's how much I made. Just about, actually, a little less. So worked like a charm, that beautiful tea. So now we're gonna be, and it's pretty like cooled down. It's not too hot anymore. So we're gonna pour the tea into the cup. So a cup of tea. And then it says add a fourth a cup of whole milk or any other non-dairy uh, milk. To be honest, I would prefer probably whole milk or milk, but I don't have that right now. I use almond milk for my shakes in the morning. So we are gonna be using almond milk. Hopefully I like it just the same. I like almond milk, there's just certain things that I like re real milk for, you know? So we're going with the fourth. Who knows, I could add a little more, depending on the taste. But, oh, oh God, oh. So a fourth a cup of the milk. So it's looking like tea with milk in it right now. And it says add 1.5 tablespoons of syrup or more or less to taste. So I'm not gonna measure that out. I'm just gonna put however much I think. I like my stuff pretty sweet and syrupy, so we'll add more. So I just poured, poured some in. Okay, and then now it says to stir well with the spoon. So we'll just use the spoon I was using for the, the pearls. Give that a good little stir. And then it says add, so yeah, see it says only add to one to two tablespoons of the tapioca pearls. So we obviously have more than that. I don't know, I feel like we at least have three or four. Like there's a lot, but we're adding it all because that's what we made. It says to eat within five hours. So we're doing it. So, but next time I'm glad I didn't make the full amount. 
And next time I might make even less, but they look really good because this is going to be a lot of boba, but we're using it. We're doing it. We're doing whatever I want. It's going to be a boba tea delight. Yeah, obviously a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> oh God, there's more. Okay, so now hopefully you can see there's a glare because of the window. My apologies. Maybe this wasn't the best glass to use. But you can see all the boba at the bottom. And now we're just going to add ice. So let me go add the ice. I'll be right back and then we'll take a drink of this thing. All right, guys. Hopefully you can see or hear a little bit of a glare, but I feel like you get the gist of it. It looks really nice. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna like it, but next time I think I am going to get like whole milk or something like a little more thicker, a little more creamier, you know? Cause yeah, I don't mind almond milk. Like I said, I use it for my shakes. Oops, see if I can screw this lid on without it spilling. But like I've tried almond milk with like cereal and stuff cause I didn't have any regular milk and it's just, it's just not, it's not the same, not the same. But okay, we got our lid on. It is full as heck. Let's give it a little stirry, stirry my bob, and then we are gonna taste it. I'm so excited. All right, guys, moment of truth. Mm, it's real light. The boba is good, or the pearls. Is that what the boba is? Sorry, I'm chewing with my mouth open. Okay. I think I want it to be more sweet. We're gonna add more. And to be honest, like, can you see how like not, it's not really thick or anything? In the directions it said to just add after you boil it, but I think this is something that you need to Boil the water, but add the sugar while it's boiling and kind of reduce it into more of a simple syrup so it's a little thicker. All right, guys. Well, it does taste good. I do like it. I just feel like it needed, like maybe next time when I make it, I will definitely just tweak the recipe just a little bit. I think, yes, I'm going to boil the water and the brown sugar together and not add it as an after afterthought, like they said, so that you can really cook down and make it more of a syrup. Because when I get it at like a, a, a restaurant or like Fut 88 or whatever, you can like, they'll put the syrup up the sides of the cup so it's like thick. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next time with that. Maybe go with uh, like a heavy cream, uh, well not heavy cream, like a whole milk. Uh, instead of the almond milk but that's just my preference i am a really i like things really sweet so if you're not like into super sweet stuff maybe just stick with how everything is and yeah it's not bad i do like it and then maybe soak the tap the pearls in the it might help if it's a little thicker of a sauce but soak the pearls in the sauce for longer because I'm sure when you get it at a restaurant that those, because they're already, like at least when I order it, it comes out within a couple minutes. So the pearls are already good to go. So I'm thinking maybe soaking them longer brings out a little more of the flavor. So that might be a thing that maybe I do the night before. And then, uh, and then assemble everything like the next morning, like going to work or whatever. So the pearls are already ready. But we'll see, because it did say uh, if... You keep the boba pearls in liquid for too long. I know that they can get a like a weird texture to them. So, but yeah, but I feel like overall, I think it's pretty good. It was definitely, sorry, this video is probably long and a little over the place because it was my first time doing this. Like I've had it at stores before, but I've never tried to do this on my own. So I did have fun. I hope you guys had fun watching me. It's a little... But yeah, so I added a little more of the syrup, a little more of the milk. But I think it tastes really good, but I do like it just a, a sweeter. I'm just a, a sweet person when it comes to stuff. I like it super sugary, some people don't. But I am excited to give it another try. I'm definitely gonna tweak the recipe a little bit, like I said, so next time when I do a vlog, or if you're just watching these videos, I will talk about it when I get my next boxes. I think I'm gonna stick with it for the $30 free shipping 
for what I got. It does seem like when you get the box, it does seem like a little skimpy. But when, like I, when I looked up all prices for like things as close as a price that I could get, it wasn't the exact product. So uh, I feel like you did at least get the $30 worth. And then, like I said, when I went and got the cantaloupe boba tea at Fa 88, just one large was $9. So if I'm making it at home, like this size would be more like that. This is a hefty guy. Obviously, yeah, I'm going to make less bobas next time. Or give it a try and soak them even though it says to use them right away. But if I make it maybe, or like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty happy about how everything went. I, it was fun. I'm excited to try the other one that I have to get the strawberry stuff for, the yogurt and the strawberry. I'll have to let you know on a future video how that goes, if it worked out. I'm sure I'll tell you on the next, uh, subscription box that I open. It says that all the boxes ship out every month. When you order your first box, the box ships out right away, with usually within a couple days. And it, it came here pretty fast. I got it pretty fast. But then it says every other, like every month, it's going to be shipping out on the 7th, I believe. So, so expect a new unboxing next month with new tea, new syrup, new in, new list, new ingredient list and stuff for a different tea. But overall, I had a good time. It was fun. And I it tastes good. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to kind of get the syrup thing down. It was the first time, but overall, I think it's tasty and I'm excited to keep exploring this subscription. And yeah, if you like this video and you like boba, I would say give it a try. I feel like it's not as like as good as you would get at a restaurant or a store. But like I said over and over, I'm broken record here. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it was my first time making it, so I'm gonna work on the everything going on, but I feel like I can tune it to make it better. But still satisfied with what we got. It's cute. It has caffeine, it's chewy, and uh, I enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoy this too. Uh, hopefully the next unboxing video of this product will be a little smoother. I probably won't show you as much as I did kind of like doing everything. I'll probably cut it down and make it a little, but since it was the first time, I wanted to really do all the steps and show you. But yeah, okay guys. Well, like I said, this is Bubble Barista from bubblebarista.com. And yeah, look them up on Instagram. Obviously I'm not an affiliate or I just stumbled upon this on Facebook and was like, I'm gonna give that a try. And I'm trying it and I'm liking it. So if you're into this kind of stuff too. And yeah, like I said, this tea thing was not included. This is not part of the box. This was separate, but look how cute it is. And I'm excited to use it with my, my teas. So, all right guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I will be seeing you all very soon. Bye.